All right, welcome everybody to ABC Mondays. Zach Dean here with the crew. Thank you for showing up, everyone watching the recording. High fives for jumping on the recording. Um, and everyone here, thanks for spending the next 55 minutes with me. And uh, I really intend to show you guys some really, really fundamental lessons on my experience with Healy and building a business. And hopefully you guys can take away at least one thing that will be useful for you in your business and your journey. So um, yeah, we'd love to know your intentions. Please throw your intentions in here into the chat. I think we're rolling in the 10K group and rolling on the recording. We've got mostly, oh yeah, we've got, we've got Las Vegas tuning in. That's cool. Oh, Melb Vegas. Oh, gotcha. Hey Nova, nice to meet you. I've been chatting with you in the chat for a while. Hey, all the all the veterans and hey all the new people what's up alan good to see you um hey from malaysia very cool all right sweet so for those who don't know for the last five or six weeks we've been running a training called abc mondays and it's all around structures and systems now for me i love you know i didn't always love structure and systems because i valued freedom so highly but then I figured out that if I have more structure and more systems, it creates more freedom. And I was like, hmm, what if I had a system for everything? A system for finding new people, a system for inviting and presenting and sharing so that whenever I felt stressed or anxious or I got in my own way, I was able to fall back on these systems and then I was able to be more free in the uncomfortable and so I really hope that what I share with you today is going to be giving you some solution on how to uh, feel more freedom in your business, in your expression, in your genius, and also how we can then help more people in doing that. Because I find sometimes when I first started this kind of industry, it was, you know, I felt it was so complicated. There was all these different things I had to do and it was overwhelming and I didn't do anything and a confused mind does nothing. So how do we take the confusion out and simplify it? And uh, that's what we're going to dive into today. So um, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'd love to also know in the chat, what uh, is your intention, but also what has been the one thing that you've received from these trainings over the last five or six weeks? What's the one thing? And uh, would love to kind of, yeah, get you guys to share. So I'm going to share my screen here. And... And for those who don't know, this is every single week in the group called the Quantum Hack Your First 10K. All the events that we run throughout the week are under the events section. We also have an awesome training every single Friday by Brandon. And then I do the Mondays, 11 a.m. Brisbane, Sydney time and uh, every week, no matter what, same link, same time. So what we're going to cover today, actually, I might just do a quick little recap as well, because... Um, that always helps memory. So we originally started by looking at different, the intention was around helping you guys co-create authentic relationships, influential communication, and a duplicatable system for you and the team. We spoke about the income levels. And in order to jump from, say, earning $0 to $1,000 to $10,000 a week, it all came back to three things, which was mindset, skills, and strategy. And if we change our mind, if we change our skills, we change our strategy, it's going to change our results. So we then went through how to actually create an avatar. Chantel, my partner, went through who is your ideal client, your ideal customer, and actually where do we then find those people? So we spoke about avatar and persona, and we gave some examples. They're all in the trainings, in the guides, in the group already. And then we spoke about how do we find these people online and offline through Facebook or Instagram or Meetup or just connecting with people online. We then spoke about skill two, which was all around how do you invite people? We spoke about third-party validation, having you as a connector, as a third party, as someone that intros someone else and then gets out of the way. A new person, they go, hey, I want to learn about Healy. You can share your story, but then introduce them to an authority and expert credibility so that it becomes really professional, duplicatable within the system and everyone, it's a win, win, win. And so this is how we all build as a team. We then spoke about skill three, which is all around presenting. We spoke about the health story, having a health story and having a wealth story as well. We spoke about the templates to do that. 
and we practiced that. That was really fun. I love hearing the stories and all the stories. If you guys have experienced a health transformation or a business transformation, please share it in the, the frequency experience. That's the best best way to share this is like those testimonials like speak louder than anything. We then spoke last week around follow-up. <laughs> and these are some interesting facts. 2% of people, 2% of sales are made in the first contact. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. But 48% of people never follow up with a prospect. 25% of people make, 25% um, of salespeople make a second contact and stop. And 12% of people make more than three contacts, 12%. So it's really, you guys are here. Those that are following up actually are reaping the rewards. And that's where the, you know, the famous saying, which is the fortune is in the follow-up. So we spoke about that last week. That was a really fun training. I think it was really important as so many people are finding that they're scanning so many people and going, what do I do next? So that was really cool. Now today we're going to go through skill five which is all about, does anyone know what skill five is? This is all around this word, closing. We're going to go through what does closing mean? Um, you know, how do we, how do we ask for the sale? How do we get people to say yes and actually click on your link and purchase a Healy and stuff like that? We're then going to go through a bit of a check-in to the skills that we've gone through the last few weeks. Let's do a bit of a check-in on those to rate ourselves. We're then going to go through why closing is important. It's really important, really, really important. And then also some tips, the six questions. And then next week, we're going to be going through objection handling. And so when people say no, or I don't, can't do this, I can't do that, or it's not for me, what do we actually say? How do we move that forward? So for something that I really believe that this is really important, this is a belief system that I, you know, if something's not easy, simple and fun, we're not going to do it. And so I know that closing or this type of business can be challenging for some of us. So if you're open to it, say out loud now, this is easy, this is simple, this is fun and have a bit of a laugh around it. And uh, whenever stuff gets challenging for me, I'm like, oh, how could this be easy, simple and fun? What, and what if this was a hundred times easier than I actually thought it was? Because sometimes our brain can make it a lot harder than it actually is. So let's do a quick check-in. The last couple of weeks we've been going through these topics. So quickly write down on a scale of one to 10, where you are in your ability and confidence in finding your avatar, finding the person that you'd like to have on your team, the person that you like to help. Where are you on a scale of one to 10? We then wanna find out inviting. So the skill number two, which is inviting your avatar to, avatar to take a look at Healy using third party and then how to introduce them professionally and being interested, not interesting. <laughs> That's a crucial point. So when looking at helping people take a look, introing a third party and being interested, not interesting, where do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 in that skill of inviting? Okay. And thirdly, presenting your story to others, looking, looking at, the health story and your wealth story. How do you feel about that? How confident are you in that? And also follow up. So those that you've started a conversation with or scanned and the scripts from last week, how confident are you with this? Where do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? And then also what we're gonna to cover today is closing. So where are you, which is which is potentially the most important part. So we'd love to get a quick little share um, or if you could put them into the chat, that would be really, really helpful. Um, and let's just get some awareness or just mainly for you to have awareness on, okay, this is some areas area to improve. Um, does anyone wanna share and open up where you're at? Don't go all at once. Yep, mum. Um, <clears throat> yeah, hi everyone. I am really interested to find out how to um, follow up with a woman that I scanned last week that um, has lots of questions and I've sent her some videos and then she still doesn't understand. So I don't really know to, where to go from that. So that's what I'm keen to find out today. 
So you've sent us some information and then what, what, what's the conversation, has the conversation played out? She still doesn't understand how we can remotely scan her through the science. I sent yeah. her a science video. She's still a bit skeptical. Um, and I feel a little bit incompetent about how to, you know, I suggested a third, a three-way call with you, Zach. Mm, awesome. um, and uh, that's about where it's at. Okay. If I don't send her anything else. So yeah, I've got, she's a really open person usually, but she needs to know the science. That's a really hardcore thing. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, around following following that and then and asking to invite her to a call would be a great idea. What did she say to that? Um, I can't remember. I'd have to go back and check specifically. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds shooting good. Shooting it off my head. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, maybe we can do that on Facebook or we can organize a Zoom. That sounds good. Um, so yeah, looking at the some of these numbers, guys, seven, seven, eight, five, five. Five five eight five. Yeah, this is awesome. The numbers look a lot higher than they were in the very very beginning from the training too. And so, um, let's see in terms of this topic of closing, how we can actually um, take that from where it is now to a higher level. And also asking yourself in those other areas, what's missing? Like, what's the missing link? What's the one thing that would take it to a higher or take it to a ten out of ten? So. Just for a second, guys, I'd like us to quickly drop in um, what I've been doing on my scans and it's been helping us actually really connect and also allows us with the connection or yeah, the connection to get more out of the scan. Like the scans are so much more accurate when we're actually dropping in. So if you guys feel comfortable, I'd love to just do a quick three deep breaths in and out. With, if, you do, if you're driving, don't do this. But if you're sitting at home, Feel free to shake off the morning, close down your eyes. And um, whenever you're ready, let's just do a big deep breath in together. And exhale slowly. And when you're ready, breathe all the way in again. And exhale even slower. When you're ready, breathe all the way in again. And exhale even slower again. Awesome. And when you're ready, come back. Thanks, guys. So I think the question I want to ask you guys is what is your purpose? What is your vision? And, and why are you guys doing this? So to kick it off, I'll share just what my vision and my purpose and why I'm doing this. I really love um, the, probably the coolest thing of this whole experience has is helping someone who's struggling going from a place of like, I've got pain or something's not, not aligned right now. And actually then helping them find a solution for that. And I love seeing people excited, you know, at, the, at its high level, you might've heard me say on my webinars and things like that, my vision or purpose or my mission is to co-create the healthiest and wealthiest people on the planet. And at any opportunity, I'm always trying to share my why, my vision, you know, I'm not going, I don't want to go into my story, but overall, that's what I want for people to see people smiling and winning. And so why this is important, why I'm sharing this with you guys is it's important when going through this process of sales or closing that by knowing our purpose and mission and, and vision and actually communicating that with people, our, our why is more important than what we're doing. You might have heard of Simon Sinek's The Golden Circle and he talks about great companies. We'll talk about what and how and then why, but revolutionary companies talk about why, why they're doing things differently, what, what they believe, and then the what, and then the how. And so any times throughout this closing process, whatever you want to call it, that we can in feed into our purpose, our why, our story, like what is really exciting us about this, um, that's 
that's really cool. You know, my ultimate, what I mentioned before, before we started recording is like, I'm going to Tasmania with my partner and we're building an eco village. Like that's the end game for me. That's why I'm really doing this. The freedom to get out of where I am and to go into the eco, into the, into the wilderness and build like a beautiful health retreat in the, on the land, you know, that excites me. And so I'd love to find out what your purpose and why you guys are doing this. Um, whether it's just just for two minutes, if you guys just want to write it down, it may have changed since you first started Healy, or maybe you're only just developing this. But let's just for the next couple of minutes, not too long, you know, this will take some time later, but just ask yourself the question, why am I doing this? What is my vision? What is my purpose? If I knew how to put the relaxing music on, I would. <laughs> I don't know. Just do one more minute. Oh, you guys are typing it in. Awesome. Yeah, feel free to type it in. Does anyone want to share? I'd like maybe one or two people just to quickly share why they're doing doing Healy. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it no, Nova? Yeah, feel free to unmute. Hi. Can hey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you I'm hear in the me? library, so I'm not going to talk too loud. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> um. Well, my overall purpose hasn't changed since starting Healy, and I think that's why I was attracted to Healy because it fits into my purpose and vision anyway with my own work, with my other work, um, which is basically just to open hearts of everyone, but in specifically to heal um, hearts and be able to open the hearts of parents so that they can help to create uh, children that are energy focused and have real personal power and are able to release their own emotional baggage as they grow up. So that's what my kind of purpose has been for a long time with my work. And I feel like Healy fits into that perfectly. And so why am I doing Healy is because I believe it's the first step to what's possible. I find that's where I've hit a roadblock with a lot of my clients that just aren't ready to believe in themselves to that level that they can heal themselves and that they can really move past emotional blocks and feeling unbalanced. And they don't, a lot of them, you know, you take them through the processes as clients, but they don't always believe that they've got that ability within themselves. And I feel like Healy is like the first step to realizing that ability within themselves. It's still technically belief in a device as opposed to being themselves, but because it's quantum and it's accessing so much more and being able to do the aura scans and that side of things, I think my experience from what I've seen of Healy over the past year before I jumped in was that it opens up people's self-belief and as they become more balanced and more in tune with themselves, they naturally gravitate more towards uh, energy and self-belief and all of that. So for me, it's almost like that first step in, like my, in my own work. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that. And, and I'd love to ask you and, and everyone else who's, who's listening now with what you guys have written down, if we go that one step deeper, it's like asking why. Like, so, so Nova, why do you want that? 
Why do I want it? Uh, I don't probably have the answer off the top of my head. I've done a lot of work around why I've come up with that vision. It's changed a bit over the years, but that's fundamentally what it is. Um, I think because of my own journey, I guess, from having such a closed heart and growing up in a not nice childhood and having come from being so asleep and such a victim of everything and realizing that what healing your heart and opening up to your own power and, and uh, self-healing can do for you, I want to share that with everyone. I think that um, I just, you know, it's the next step in ascension for all of us. So <laughs> that's really what it is, ultimately helping with the ascension of uh, <laughs> anyone who will listen <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? And I think it's a really important point is even just as you shared then, you know, a little bit of your story and not too much, just what you've been through. Was it just me or was it? maybe put a yes into the chat if you felt like you wanted to lean in and listen to Nova's story when she shared more of her why you know what she'd been through things like this so I think um that's amazing you've done a lot of work right and so I can I noticed that and it's like you 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 get it you get that that's that's what your heart is saying and I guess my point with that as well for everyone like if, if you're new to this as well saying if you've got what you've got there or if you did that really quickly, that's fine. Maybe asking, why do I want that? Write the answer to that and saying, why do I want that again? And going and asking why about five times to dive deep into really what's what's under that surface, you know? And so that's why if you guys have been here for a while doing Healy, it's like rediscovering that maybe, maybe that why has been, you know, it's changed. So this is a great opportunity to kind of dive deeper. So Nova, thank you so much for sharing. Appreciate that. I guess that ultimately that's just yeah to help people heal. If you just want the quick, you know, when you break yeah. it down to the quick answer is to to help everyone to heal the way I have. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, does anyone else want to share as well? Is anyone who's feeling maybe some butterflies in their belly and they're like, oh, I don't want to share? Maybe those that have the butterflies should share. <laughs> I, I don't want to share as in I want to let someone else share, but I just want to say on following on from Nova how awesome Nova is and how she is actually my avatar that I did call in. And that shift wow. happened. She is exactly my dream person to have in Healy. She's so committed. She's made such an impact in the short amount of time. She's only been there in a a couple of months really and sharing more the last month and a half but she sold like seven or eight devices I think and Congrats. I called her in by doing a Healy scan on my <laughs> so just as a bit of a tip for everyone else do your daily Healy scan on your business and I keep putting in there and I still do this what would it take to attract more Healy avatar leaders Nova is definitely a leader um with ease flow and joy and that's what I put in daily wow gold I yeah. love that. She came like probably the next week <laughs> and we didn't even meet up to talk about Healy. We met up to talk about something else and then it just flowed. And yeah, yeah we went to different dimension during that two, three hours we were together. <laughs> so yeah, so good. Get clear on your avatar and then scan it in your Healy every day. Oh, I like that. Good tip. Mm -hmm. uh, today's, today's little task is to scan your business, everyone. <laughs> cool. Um, thank you guys for sharing. And, and yeah, I think it's so important just to remind ourselves, like, why are we doing this? What's really that point um, at the end of the day? Okay. So thank you, Nova. <laughs> yeah. What a team. High five. <laughs> so yeah, at its highest level, you know, we're really wanting to discover what people's goals, intentions, and dreams are for the future. And then we want to show them how to make those dreams, goals, and desires um, a reality through Healy in our product, whether it's for the product or for the business, we're showing them a way that they can um, get even more excited about the future, right? So, but when looking at this, most people come into this and go, oh, I'm not good at sales, right? For me, I was like, oh, sales. And I had some experience in sales, but that experience didn't help me at all because sales is usually someone 
talking, you know, whether you think of like a telemarketer or a door knocker or someone, you know, at a, at a shop doing sales and it's like a salesperson kind of hunting or kind of selling to someone they don't know, right? A brand new person. They have no idea. And so when I came into this, I actually had to throw away all my, that sales skill hat and look at more so being a consultant or a guide, a tour guide. Like if you went, if you've ever been to another country and you've gone, oh, I want to go do a tour and you go chat to the tour guide and they're like, so what do you want to see? Where do you want to go? What's your itinerary? You know, what are you looking for? And based on these questions, they're going to go, okay, this is the best tour for you. You know, or this is, this is, we've got this, this and this, which option, you know, best suits you. And so maybe instead of having a salesperson hat, take that off for a second and put on a consultant, you know, a guide, a tour guide. And so going from that may kind of hunting, kind of, a, um, you know, chasing energy. And if you are doing that, maybe try something else on and just stop for a second and go, what would it feel like to have people come to you? That feeling of farming and, you know, you plant some seeds and you water and you look after it and you set the intentions. I don't know if you guys have a garden or you look after plants you know, a lot of you have children. I'm sure it's the same. I can't relate to that, but it's like planting the seeds and then, or fishing, casting the net out. You can't rush the fish to jump into the net, right? It's about waiting, being patient, and then, you know, pulling the net in and whoever jumps into the net, that's where you're fishing. And so we're going and switching from more of a hunter to more of a farmer or fish fishing kind of concepts concept. So the tips I want to share with you guys is, yeah, throwing away high pressure. I know you guys don't do this, but some people do. And I think it's important to realize it's not about high pressure. It's about planting seeds and about really this. This is the main intention is asking questions to help the people imagine that they can do this too. Getting them to picture what it would be like using the Healy or getting them to see what, you know, more freedom, more money would be, um, would help them, how that would help them in their life. So in doing this, another tip is staying in relationship with people, even once they've said yes, joining the team, but also, you know, if you had to scan with them or you've, you know, sent them a video, you know, tr find creative ways for staying uh, in relationship, staying in contact with these people. Smile. This is another tip like the storytelling is smile, breathe deep, ask yourself, how can I serve this person's highest good and highest potential right now? Before you jump on the call, right? Maybe do a meditation and say, you know, you know, if it's meant to be, you know, what what is the best scenario for both of us? And asking the question is, how can you make this a win-win? How can you make this a win-win? Allowing yourself, and I think a lot of people come into this and like it needs to be. Uh, I see some people not allowing themselves to get excited, and it's it's the excitement you know, this world, we just live in a very kind of dull world sometimes. And so your excitement, your high vibe, we call it, or your light being switched on, which is your vision, you being in that and allowing yourself to get excited for your vision and just sharing that. People are going to be like, I don't even know what you're selling, but I want to be a part of your team. You know, it's like that energy, that excitement. Yeah. And then at the same time, detaching from the outcome. So focusing on the customer and not the deal. So don't worry about the promo. <laughs> right it's not about the promo it's about the other person it's about them listen right don't you know sharing tech i think i spelled that right techno babble so russell brunson has a book called expert secrets i'll just put it into the chat expert secrets russell brunson highly recommend this book this is all about how to create a movement and it looks at you need to have, you know, there's leadership skills, there's personal skills, there's communication skills. It just, it's not like, he talks about funnels. He obviously sells his product at the end, how to build a funnel program, but it's all the fundamentals and how to build a movement, how to get people to, you know, move towards a common vision, a common goal. It's an amazing book. If you haven't read that, it's, it, you can download, you can even find some free downloads online as well, or purchase it as the hard copy and highlight it. It's one of my favorite books over the last three or so years, Brandon actually showed it to me. And uh, as soon as I picked it up, I hadn't picked up a book for a while. And I was like, I never really felt that connection, but I picked up that started reading it. I was like, whoa. And I just devoured it in a couple of days. It was one of those experiences. So um, it's around leadership and communication. And so, and telling your story, how to tell your story 
in a, in a really powerful way through what's called the epiphany bridge and the highs and lows focusing on a hero's journey, which is what any great movie talks about this hero's journey that talks about the foundation of the hero's journey. And so don't worry about techno babble, you know, frequencies and, you know, uh, different Hertz and your microcurrent or what are these tech? Cause that can confuse people and get people to check out. So keep it really simple. Always use metaphors, use stories, kind of like is a great way to, to kind of transition. This is, you know, microcurrent or Healy is kind of like, you know, I always give the analogy. It's kind of like going to the um, bowling alley and putting the roller guards up. So when the ball doesn't go into the alley. And so the Healy is like putting the roller guards up on life. So it helps you when you're stressed, helps you when you're down. Keeping it really simple like that is a great way of creating what it is because Healy is so out there for a lot of people. It is definitely like another is on another planet for some people. So getting breaking it down without techno babble is really recommended. Finding more ways to help add more value and offering more of your genius and connecting them to others, right? When someone's joining a team, it's like, well, these people are amazing. You might know other people to connect them with, or you've got more value that you can give. You know, I'm sometimes offering health coaching sessions as well because I have a background in health and nutrition. So what other genius skills do you have that you can help to create more value when, when asking people to join your team. Listening, listening, listening. That's, you know, we, usually we talk people out of Healy. <laughs> we talk people out, we say too much, but it's more about like, we, let's listen people into this. Listen, ask questions, listen, ask questions. And let go of this closing. I know we're talking about closing, but let go of this idea. And how you do that is by scheduling the next exposure until you have that relationship built up where you can say, is there anything else you need to know before you get started? Because then you're kind of filling, filling in the blanks. What else do you need to know before you get started? That's a really powerful question. So, oh, a few more tips. So here's the worst thing you can say. It's like, You've, you've sent somebody a video, you've sent, you've done a scan or you've, they've jumped on a webinar, you've had an event with them or you've had a coffee meeting or whatever it is. This is the worst thing you can say. So what do you think? Because usually people go negatively to like the negative, like, oh, well, I didn't like this. I didn't like that. So don't, uh, I don't recommend asking that. And Eric Worry doesn't recommend using, asking that. Um, and so he asked a better, a better question or a better option would be when, uh, when you looked at this, did you see an opportunity? When you looked at this, did you see an opportunity? And do you want to get started? That would be a better way. But we're gonna we're gonna talk more about the best option. So don't worry about writing that down. But that's kind of a you know a different way of doing it. When you looked at Healy, you know, did you see an opportunity? And do you want to get started now? That's one option. But let, we're gonna talk about a better option. So the better option or the best option is, as I said, putting that consulting hat on. And so they've been through this scan they've come to an event you've you know presented healy to them and you then go oh gosh what do i say now right and you say you ask a question what did you like best so you finish the scan with them and you say you know we've just been doing this experience the last 30 40 minutes how was this for you what did you like best you know and that's going to help people to see oh you know they might say something like oh yeah the product was pretty cool you know, but you want a bit more information. So you might say something like, you know, what did you like most about the product? Or what did you like most about the scan? Or what did you like most about that video? Or what did you like most about that? You know, just to get more information, you know, just to find out, to dive deep. Now, what if someone says nothing? <laughs> what do you say? They're like, I didn't, didn't really like it. Okay, then see you later. Well, you'd say something like you might have a bit of tongue in cheek and you say something like just for fun, if you did know, if you did have something you, that you liked, what would it be? And I go, oh, well, you know, I like the stories, you know, and just trying to get that conversation moving, not being too serious. If they say no, treat it as a fun experiment just to keep the conversation going. So here's the consulting question number two. The first one was, what did you like best? So what we're looking at here as well, guys, is looking at more so the business and you can use this for the product, but we're going to dive deep with the next couple of questions on more so focusing on the business. But you'd say, look, just for fun 
or hypothetically, based on what you've seen so far, or based on, you know, this scan that we've just done, where are you on a scale of one to 10? 10 being you want to get started right now, one being you're not interested. So getting people to actually share where they might be. Because it's, you know, if they say no, that's fine. If they say yes, that's fine too. But we just, you know, sometimes you just want people to like give you an answer. So getting them to kind of share where they are on a scale of one to 10 will help a lot. You know, they might respond one to five. Now, what people that are one to five, they're not probably really ready just yet. They probably need some more information. Those that are six and above, are quite interested. You know, last week we spoke about the three types of people. You know, some people just like information and information. Some people want to get started straight away. You know, there's different types of people. So depending on what they say, we're going to say, okay, so what would it take for you to be a 10 out of 10 or what's missing or what else can I share with you? And they might say, I want to know more about the science or I want to do, I want to experience it again. And so you're asking those questions. This is just helping you be a consultant to get the picture. So question number three, so this is more about the business. And so you're going to say something like, hypothetically, if you wanted to build a business with this part time, approximately, how much would you need to earn per month to make this worth your time? So a lot of people in the business say, hey, I want to do the business or yes, I want to earn some money. I say, cool. So let's look at just part time to start off with you know, when looking at how much money you want to earn per month, what would make this worth your while to be earning this per month? And they're going to be like $1,000 a month or $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month or 20, whatever it is. Don't, don't give them an option. Just let, like, let them, let them answer it. So they might say something like $4,000 a month would help us a lot. Okay, cool. So you'd say, the next consulting question would say, you know, how many hours per week would you realistically commit to developing the $4,000 income goal per month and also learning some new skills, right? So how much time, how many hours per week do you have? You're kind of getting this, this agreement with them. We're discovering, we're kind of figuring out, is this worthwhile? Someone might go, I want to earn $50,000 in the first month. It's unrealistic you know, $4,000 in their first couple of months can be very realistic. And so how many hours? And they might say, okay, well, I've got based on this, based on that, I've got about 12 hours. I can fit in about 12 hours. This is perfect. If someone said, I want to earn $10,000 a month and they've got one hour a week, you say, look, you, you like, there might be a mismatch. It might be possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but let's look at, you know, can we stretch that to five or so hours a week? And let's say the first couple of months might be ten or $5,000 a month instead of 10,000. Trying to managing people's expectations here because some people are like, I want to be a millionaire straight away. You're like, well, it's going to take some time. And then the other consulting question is number five is how many months would you be willing to work those 12 hours per week while you're developing the $4,000 monthly income. Someone comes to me and goes, hey, Zach, I want to do the business. Cool. So what would be an amount per month that you'd love to earn that would make it worthwhile? $4,000. Okay, great. How many hours can you commit to a week to make that a reality? You know, earning $4,000. Okay, 12 hours a week. Sweet. So how many months working the 12 hours a week um, would you be willing? How many months? So they might say, okay, well, realistically you know, six months. Okay, great. That's going to be really, that's, that's, that's achievable, right? In six months, let's work together 12 hours a week. We're going to achieve four, you know, thousand dollars a week, $4,000 a month. That's really realistic. If they say they want a hundred thousand dollars in three months, you'd say, look, that's great. It's never been done before. You can be the first, but just so you know, you know, this is what's going to be required. You're going to have to have lots of conversations. So managing people's expectations, because sometimes, well, as we all know, it's these expectations that don't get met that cause us to feel um, like we want to leave or change. Um, and so the last question here is, so if I dot, 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 would you dot, dot, dot. So what we're going to do here is connect all those dots together to then communicate back to someone. This is a perfect example. My fr a new friend, Nicole, she got started. She, you know, she said, I want to um, start sharing. She said, I just want to start for the product. I said, okay, okay awesome. She then um, scanned a couple people. She scanned herself, her child and some people. And she was like, this is freaking amazing. I didn't know that Healy had the potential to do this. This is unlike anything 
what's the earning potential like? Like what's possible? And I said, you know, I kind of shared what some people are doing based on their hard work and energy and things like this. And she was like, oh my gosh, no way. Like I could retire from my job doing that. And I said, well, yeah, like for you, what would be a worthwhile amount per month that would make this exciting and something that you'd be worth your time? And so she said, you know, $30,000 a month. I said, okay, amazing. I said, cool. I said, so how many hours a week do you have that you could dedicate every single week to making that $30,000 a month a reality? Okay, so it was like 10, 10 hours. I said, cool. How, for how many months? Because, you know, in the beginning of building a business, it's not going to be 30K straight away. And she's like, okay, six months. I said, cool. So then going, okay, so Nicole, if I, if I showed you, if I could show you how to develop that $30,000 a month or $4,000 a month over the next six weeks, sorry, that's supposed to be six months, <laughs> um, working 12 hours a week, would that be, would you, would you, would you be ready to get started? You know, in this example that I gave, she'd already had a Healy, <laughs> but for someone who didn't asking them these questions and actually getting them to share, um, getting them to share what they're looking for, what they're excited by, and then saying, you know, if that was a reality, if we work together, would that be exciting for you? So as you can see, this is mainly focused on business is not the product, but um, what was that, Claire? Eight, eight, seven, five, four, nine, give or take six. <laughs> What's this? Sorry, that was my cat jumping on the laptop. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, ignore that. <laughs> I thought it was some like mathematical equation. So now what, what is this actually doing? So can everyone say this is easy? This is simple. This is fun, right? It's being professional. It's, it's really guiding people through a process of figuring out their desires and showing them a solution and um, creating, you know, what we mentioned before, which was a win-win situation. So what have I got here? So the purpose, which was one to discover their goals, their dreams. This is how much I want to earn in the future. And then asking them, you know, if we, if I helped you to co-create this goal step-by-step step together, you know, would you like to at least discover the next step or to get started, right? Use your wording, use your language. Um, and all it might feel weird in the beginning. It'll take a bit of practice, but it gets, gets some agreements up front. It sets some expectations and it helps you kind of get them to see that this isn't a get rich quick thing. This is actually a professional business that will take some time and skills and learning. And um, so the takeaway is creating a world that they get to live in and based on their goals and dreams and then showing them a solution. So, okay, cool. So hopefully that gives you some context guys on a process that gives you some more clarity on helping someone in your in your team and organization or reaching back out to them and saying you know would you like to do the business and they say yeah actually i would it's like, okay cool so how much money would you like to earn per month okay four thousand dollars great how many hours a week are you open to committing to this okay you know 10 hours a week great and so over how long would you be willing to keep putting the effort in and they say six months okay cool let's let's do it and then then this, then you're like okay what next how do i show them this system right like what is the system and how do we do this together? So what we've got is, is a website called My First Steps. I'll get everyone to write this down if you haven't already. So this was an awesome team initiative we put together a couple of weeks ago on, oh, that didn't work out very well. And I'll just put this into the chat. If you haven't seen this before, please save this to your phone. Please go through it yourself. Uh, we'll go through it now for, for a minute and also have the intention to share this with the team. So if someone goes, okay, cool, I want to do, you, they've even got the product or they want to do the business. This is all the steps on how to build this. So we created this. My partner is amazing at branding and websites and we broke it down to product training. So when someone gets their product, what do you give them? Step one how to set up, use your Healy. Step two, let's get connected into the trainings, into the chats and a video bank on how to learn more about Healy, right? And then they're like, okay, cool. I want to start making this a business. And you're like, okay, this is the plan. So we're going to start 90 day game plan. We've got five steps to make your first a thousand. Then there's the $10,000 challenge. And then some trainings from the top leaders. And at the bottom here is how to co-create your vision and the extra personal development. So I'll quickly walk you guys through this under the 10 K challenge is an email 
sequence that sends to you over 21 days a brand new piece of knowledge on leadership or uh, network marketing or mindset. And so it's great for everyone. Don't think that, oh, if you're not ready to start that, everyone will get a lot out of that. And so this is a, a 90 day game plan structure presented by Mark. And he talks about a weekly checklist. So I created this weekly checklist from a couple of other templates and what he mentioned, here's the onboarding guide. And so this weekly checklist has everything you can possibly imagine to build this business. We've got the business income producing activities as we call it, things like connections, scans, telling your story, following up, even things around um, celebrating your team or helping your team share or how many times have you scanned yourself or had the Healy for yourself or had a massage or the non-negotiables, family, friends, spirituality. You know, this is really important. And so actually in the weekly goals, setting the intention for the week and then every day going, okay, this, this, is, this is how it flowed. These are the results. And the weekly end of the week going, okay, well, this is areas of improvement. What went well? What am I proud of? Well, this went really well, but I could have improved on this. And next week I'm going to do this. And so a really good strategy is just choosing four of these categories and 15 minutes each adds up to an hour. And then you can, you can focus for an hour. A lot of people will come into this and go, I want to do the business. And they're like, yeah, I want to earn this income. I'll see what's possible. And then it's like, well, how do I do it? <laughs> these are the actionable steps to, to build a business. So when we're looking at the farming, so, so-called metaphor or the fishing, or, you know, we're educators, on this, these are the process on how do we educate people? What are the what are the actions needed to cast that net out to build this business? And how do we how do we pull it in, so to speak? Um, so that's there. I recommend printing off four of those in landscape, and then you can write on them and see that over a whole month, and really tracking this. Those that you know, there's a there's a jump that needs to be made in order to to you know go from those income levels of not earning anything to a thousand dollars. That's the first jump. And then from $1,000 to say $10,000 in a whole month, and then maybe, you know, higher five figures a month, there's different jumps. And depending on where you're at, looking at a different mindset system, um, mindset system or skills, this might be your next step, guys. And so I know some of you might not like structure and, and organization, but in doing this, you'll be able to see what's going well, what's not. And then for anyone who wants to reach out to me at any point, just reach out and say, hey, look, Zach, I've got, I've got this. I've done a week or do two weeks of this. Come, come to me and say, hey, where can I improve? Like, what else? What am I missing? And, um, and then I can like walk you through the steps after that. So what we went through today, guys, we went through closing, this topic of closing on mainly how to, how to kind of look at um, – asking the right questions to take them to a point where they're ready to make a decision to either learn the next step or to get started. We spoke about the check-in exercise. We wrote, we wrote, wrote down out of a scale of one to 10, where you are in different areas. And also why closing is important. What, now, what we mentioned there is it's, it's important to know our vision, like what we're actually creating. And when we get uncomfortable, we go, oh, I don't want to do it today. I'm too overwhelmed. Reminding ourselves of our vision and why we're doing this will keep us moving forward in our business and also realizing that those two points, which was figuring out what people's goals and desires and, and intentions are for the future and then providing them a solution. You know, it's, it's, we're really, um, we're, we're problem solvers, you know, we're consultants and we're problem solvers and offering them a solution. And that's why, why it's important to close. And so the tips, the six questions, and then also next week we'll be going through objection handling and uh, yeah, look, these are all topics that are, that I'm still learning guys. And, and it's, it's a process, but I think um, you'll get a lot out of next week's training as well. It's really, really important. So does anyone have any questions before we wrap this up? No, I'd love to know what your one best thing was your best thing from this training. One thing that you learned, one aha moment, one, thing that you, you got out of it at least one please throw it into the chat and if anyone has any questions please um let me know i'd love to know yeah 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 jump just jump on no one thanks hi i do have a question um okay so i kind of um jumped in to hear this only a few weeks ago really but with no plan <laughs> and um so i've sold a bunch and i reckon that, that there's um probably about half of them that could 
potentially be interested in the business but I haven't really talked to them about that because it was more just about the product um, I have signed them up as members and I've talked to them about it briefly but they're all like oh no I just want to use it um, so I guess that is very helpful for going back to them but what like how do I start that conversation back up of um, you know um, it's just something like oh hey you've used your Haley for a few weeks how are you finding it are you interested in the business like just something as simple as that or i'm just so i'm just wondering yeah so i kind of i kind of just didn't go there and i was just busy just selling them <laughs> and, got it. and then i'm like okay well that's not um sustainable <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> so you're saying like what's so so they've bought the healy it's arrived have you spoken yeah. to them once it's arrived Oh yeah, we've been in touch. Like in it's touch, people that I know. Like they, most of them are old clients of mine, so I I know I sort of know them to an extent. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, and so what's so you're wanting to know? So how do I then go back step? and approach the business yeah. uh, side of things with the ones that are going to that I could that I could see potentially it would be a good fit for them? Yeah. Um, gosh, there's, there's no like silver silver tip or strategy or secret, but Definitely uh, um, inviting them to potentially these trainings, Mondays mm. and Fridays, inviting them to um, to some of the, like you might hold your own webinar or something like this. Hey, look, I've got this this little training I'm doing on the Healy. Do you want to jump on? And oh, you know, reaching out and offering some solutions on, you know, how can you best understand what, more about the Healy? Um, and then you'll gauge their interest. Um also reaching back out to them and saying, you know, you love your Healy. Can you think of anyone that would love to also experience these benefits? Yeah. And then getting them to think of, okay, cool. A couple of people. And then like the example I give you, you might not have this example just yet, but the example I give is I'll say my friend, Tony, right. He got started and he linked me up with 20 people. This is a real story. He linked me up with 20 people the first month. And out of those 20 people, 14 people bought the Healy. He, he made i don't know how much but like a lot of he made his money back and he made a lot of money back and now we're helping his team do the same and he's now creating a residual income um he's never done network marketing before would something like this if you know if we if i were to show you a way to do that would you like to learn you know like asking those questions if i would you it's that mm -hmm. just a, if I was to show you how to get your Healy for free, if I was to show you how to do the fast start, if I was to show you how to build a side income or full-time income in this, would you make some time and jump on a call with me? Or would you like to, you know, learn, would you like to team up and, and, you know, really nail this and, you know, we really want to help a lot of people or whatever it is. If I, would you, um, and, and, and yeah, just like get really curious about them and ask about their job. And, you know, you could say, you know, what do you love about your job? What do you not love about your job right now? You know, is, could an extra, you know, hundred dollars, thousand dollars a week in, impact or improve your, your lifestyle or business or family. Um, but yeah, getting them to see like, as there are there other people and then saying, you know, those people, how do you feel about linking them up with me? And then I'll scan them. And, and we'll go through the experience of giving them an experience together. And if they get started, I always say to people, I don't enroll them, you enroll them, you make 100 to 500 euros per sale. And this could be, they're like, oh, really? I didn't. So some people just don't even know. Mm -hmm. So and, you could kind of start the process for them. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Get to that person and do the scan and whatever. And yeah. yeah. The, the kind process, of gets the ball rolling. Yeah. Like the process, yeah. that, like the beginning of the training was, asking questions to get them to imagine themselves doing this because because yeah. they're already recommend like we're all already doing network marketing <laughs> we're already connecting we're, but we're just not getting paid for it so it's like what are those areas um or what are those questions that help people f um see that they're already doing this like to help this is you don't have to take them to this website, but you could ask the question. So, Hey, you know, they're like, yeah, cool. I want to actually, you know, share this with a few people. Okay, cool. Like these are the five steps to make your first 1000. Yeah. You say, Hey, cool. do you know a couple of people? Can you think of an easy list of 10 people? 
you probably you probably jump the story one because I might not be ready with that just yet. You might go, can you make a list, an easy, the key is an easy list of 10 people. You know, who, do you, who else do you know? And I've got a little video there as well. And there's also a memory jogger for those that really want to, you know, write out 500 or so names. But you get them to think of a couple, okay, cool. Well, you know, what are their goals? What are they looking for? You know, they, they might put mom, dad, their cousin, this and that, or just some friends they know. Cool. Like, what are they actually, what are they looking for? Oh, I know this guy's an athlete. Or I know this guy's a, you know, stay at home mom or this, this, <laughs> I, I know this, 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 this. And they go, cool, let's plan the approach. And so you'd plan, okay, so I think for this person, let's send them this message and we might send them, um, an inf you know, some information on the science for the sciencey person or for the person who's at home. Um, you know, you know that they're suffering with anxiety. Let's go screenshot some anxiety um, testimonials and we can, we can send that to them. So, hey, this is some, you know, remember the conversation we had last month, you said you've got anxiety or insomnia, you know, this is amazing machine I've got. These are some testimonials. Um, I'd love to show you sometime. So you can plan the, the, the communication for them. Cool. And then, and then, um, and then, you know, get some feedback. So taking them through the process as best you can. And then, yeah. a, you know, the easiest one is like, they think, okay, these 10 people, you can add them into the ATM, add, adding people into a group, tagging them in a post and then messaging them. And they might, you never know, they might, add hundreds of people in that group. So, and then tag them in the posts and then message them as well. And so they, these are just some ways of saying it, it's keeping it really simple for people because they might only have five minutes out of the day to do something like this. So you say, this won't take much time. You know, you can add people into this group. You send them a group, let's add them in now. You know, let's tag them mm -hmm. in some posts. Let's, let's message them and say, hey, I've just added you in a group. I've just tagged you in this thing, you know, this is some amazing stuff. You got to check it out. So that would be, that's just one way. <laughs> Can I just ask one more really quick question? Of course. Yeah. That, um, so just with the MLM structure, um, from my knowledge of other MLMs, um, if someone is in, if you, if you, if someone buys a Healy from you directly and then they have someone, a business builder under them that, is like seriously amazing and just goes like to like number one in the state or whatever. Do you still earn off of that person or when they overtake you, do you not do, do you um, not benefit from their sales, if you know what I mean? Uh, so you make a 15% of the point at the moment with the, with the current compensation plan. We, which is about to change July one, oh, okay. um, and right. I'll, I'll I'll have a bit more insight in the next. Um, I think tomorrow I'm getting more insight from from Mark specifically to give me more okay. personal. But currently, based on the left and the right leg, so say you enroll someone in your right leg, and then they enroll someone and they go bananas and then share it yeah. with the whole of um, Korea that's about to open up or Canada or South America, right? These are the, these are intentions I'm planning for all of you. Like the, those are the places. Korea is apparently the big, bigger than the US. And US is like 10 times more, pr like produces more. Um, there's like more sales going through the US, about 10 times more than I think Japan is second. So, and then like Australia and stuff like this, to America, but Korea is like off the charts. Uh, we're not open there yet. But um, so what happens is as they enroll people, there's a points to every product of the Healy, there's a point system. And those points go towards the leg volume on the left or the right. And based on those points, we make 15% of the points of the smaller leg. So say one leg's 10,000 points, one leg's 5,000. The smaller leg, you divide you times by 0.15 and that will be the Euro residual income for that month. So they can out earn you hundred um, percent. And, but you also make yeah. a small percentage on the points that they're yeah. putting through and everyone else, but they make the upfront, they make the upfront commission. Yeah. Of course. 50%. Thank you. Yeah. That's really helpful. Yeah. So like, um, yeah, but you never know. That's kind of the cool thing is like, when there's that realization of like, oh, it's not just about who I know, 
you know, everyone knows maybe a couple hundred people. And so these people that might be reaching out to you or that it, like the six people that you've enrolled now and over, it's like, okay, based on those people who might be ready now to share it with a couple of people, um, maybe yeah. no one, maybe no one, but maybe a couple of people want to share it with, with a few people. So it's like helping that person, you know, share it within their network and that's leverage. And so you can imagine if you had 10 people on your team, all sharing Healy for say two hours a day, maybe one hours a day, that's, 10 people times at once, like 10 hours extra a day, that's, we can't potentially do with, with our, like with working a job, we can, if, you know, time for money with a business, we can have a growth of compounding time and effort within an organization. That's why network marketing and, and this structure is so amazing because it actually helps us hack, you know, biohack is kind of time, you know, and that's, we're able to produce more by helping more people and, and, and making it a win-win. That's like the craziest thing about this. Like the wealth quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki is going from like an employer, um, employee to employer to a, like a business builder to an investor and the mind and the different shifts. And it's like, how do we leverage our time and how do we leverage our investments to, for our investments to make money? And that's where that's like the true, secret to wealth is having our money make money now network marketing is network marketing is residual income not passive passive is more like having a house and then that house goes up in equity and builds money you know we have a business but there's it's like if we funneled that money into another project that then also earned business um earned money then that would be like more passive anyway i'm ranting as the stuff that i find fascinating but we all have that possibility and with the new co compensation plan coming out july 1 it's going to really in, um, incentivize those that can build these connections build teams build communities as the world's going into a more of a technological disconnected world we have a business structure that brings people together you know, we're lacking eye contact in this world at the moment. And so obviously we can't be at an events all the time. We're going to be doing more Zooms, but those that can, you know, connect people are really going to be compensated for this. Um, and so that's, you know, this, this structure at the moment is great, but then it's like apparently even better. Mark, the sales manager here in Brisbane, he's like, I haven't been in He's been in corporate before and in the field he's been in corporate for like 20 years or something and he said i was nearly I'm tempted to come out of corporate to jump into this business model because it's so amazing he's like this is really really cool um so yeah all i can say is like yeah the next couple of months is crucial to really build more of the leaders to then really build a strong foundation for the rest of the year moving on and if anyone has connections in south korea you know canada um, South America, those are places that will be opening up later in the year. Sorry, did that even answer your question? <laughs> um, I think it did. Yeah, I forgot my question now. So, the, <laughs> like, if you bring someone in and they bring someone in, do you earn anything? And yeah, definitely. I just know. I just know. Um, I used to be a part of a different MLM where if someone below you then did really well on great guns, once they overtook a certain amount or so overtook you or something, you didn't earn anything off of them or their team. It just yeah. became a totally separate team. And I wondered if it was the same kind of thing, only because of something I've got going on in my brain about some very top earners I do know in other companies. Yeah. So, um, it's complicated. I won't. I get it. I get it. it. The, mm. I just wonder, um, yeah, if, the, if, there, if there was a point where they just kind of broke off, became their own team, and you didn't earn anything from them at all. Yeah, that's really, it's a really good point um, because that's the, the beauty of the binary system, which is, which is Healy that offers unlimited depth. So other compensation plans that are uni level, it's one legs and the one leg um, has a, has a capped. That's like super old school multi-level marketing where you, you get capped at a certain level and you only get paid on the bonuses of like eight people or 10 people with, with, um, Healy, those there's no cap. There's unlimited um, team growth, and that's yeah. the cool thing about a binary is that yeah, you can you can stack people together on one leg and build with those people and co collaborate with them, and they're all adding to everyone's re residual income, right? The the uni level I'm not a big fan of because you have you have to kind of 
split your teams up in different, yeah, you might have to split them in two different teams, but at least with the, the uni level one though, however, you, you got like multiple three or four or five different teams where you're managing, helping them collaborate. And so there's more collaboration for those that understand this, the power of the binary system that we have here with Healy, there's so much collaboration. Like, you know, it's all about helping other people, help other people to yeah. really earn the income. Um, that someone's asked me around Korea, you can't send anything, don't, don't send anything into Korea at the moment, because if there isn't a reg, red mark against Healy, then we won't be able to open there. There's so much structure of professionalism over there. It's tr treated as, I think it's taught in universities or schools, network marketing is a way. Um, and so they need to be very strict on all the paperwork and legals before opening up in South Korea chat to these people connect with them and say hey when it opens they might have 100 200 500 people ready to go when it opens but don't be trying to sneak product in there especially there <laughs> that's not a good one next level marketing nlm oh that's cool <laughs> not mlm multi level market marketing next level marketing nlm i love that also a reminder with the power play promotion so that's when we, this month, enrolling three new people on any, or oh, Healy, which is the Healy Holistic Health Plus and the residents, we get another device for free. That's for um, sharing with three people this month personally, not from last month's on enrollments, only this month. And then if we help those three people share with three each, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I think it's like 12 all up. Yeah, 12 all up. Then you get make 150 um, 1,500 euro bonus for this month. And there's, you know, anyone in the team can do that. And that structure, this power play, please take note that this is a, could be, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't even seen it, but I feel like it's going to be a, the new way of building within Healy. So if you haven't achieved it this month, don't worry. It might be next month. It might be a thing that will be on, on how we build. Um, and what I love about it is it actually incentivizes us to build and help build leaders. It's not just about our enrollments. It's like, how can we help even more of our team enroll other people? And so they're incentivizing us with another product or bonuses. And um, that's really cool. So that is a culture of like, how do we dig down? There might be people that you haven't connected with in your team and organization that um, might be you know, ready for this. And the cool thing about Healy is that they might not be ready now, but they might be ready in six months or a year, but they're still in your business. So stay, you know, there's, there's thousands of people that could be in your business already on different legs and whatnot. But um, you know, this is why we put the website together and the groups and try to huddle people together to remind people that we can all build this together. And that's, that's the fun thing. It's like, you know, these Mondays give me energy as well. So hopefully it adds a lot of value to you guys. This is every single Monday. The recordings are in the guides. They're not called units, but guides in the 10K group. And also a reminder about Fridays with Brandon. If you want to jump on there, it's less structure. It's more so free flow circle, chatting about, you know, resistance, what we're going through, ideas on, um, yeah, expanding our level of, of even, you know, receiving and giving and, and love it's it's a really cool circle so it's kind of like the campfire effect that's more so on a friday 11 a.m um any other questions guys um we've got tuesday night right so i might just quickly find the link for this tuesday night every single tuesday australia time sydney seven o'clock there's what's called the corporate webinar so one of the leaders within Healy, someone who's quite successful, will be jumping on to talk about um, the opportunity, more so around the business structure and around just, it's like a good introduction. It's a, we call it a business overview. And so I'll post that again in the group, or I might tag a few of you in the, in the post from last week. And that's a recurring link. This link every single Tuesday, 7 p.m., they must register. They get an email notification 15 minutes prior to the webinar, they jump on and, um, well, you know, it was Peter last week, me the week before. And then I think Sarah is tomorrow. Sarah's amazing. If it's Sarah, she has been in network marketing for, I think over like seven or eight years. She's, um, yeah, high six figure, maybe even 
you know, multiple six figures within her first year within Healy. And so she works closely with Taryn and Peter and Max, who's in Bali at the moment. So she's, her energy is amazing. Like if you have any female entrepreneur, you know, conscious living health practitioner or, you know, you know, boss, <laughs> boss person that you, you want to introduce to Healy, then tomorrow's webinar would be really good. I highly recommend that. But if they can't make it tomorrow, it's going to be every single week. I'll put that as the event in the 10K group. But um, thank you guys so much for jumping on. I'm going to take off the recordings. Um,